All right, I guess. What is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews. Back for another episode today. A uh, little rainy out earlier. It stopped raining and I just had to throw, have a little bit of time and have a very busy week ahead of me. So I had to, a little bit of drizzle, kind of hit and miss blowing in. So the boards are playing a little slow right now, but we'll get into that. You guys will see how it affects these bags. And actually these bags are pretty sticky anyway, so not a huge deal. But today we have the Buffalo Bags M1 carpet ride. These bags are sweet. They really are. Uh, my, my big issue with them is that they're not ACL stamped or approved. As far as I know, I could double check the approval, but, um, that's really my only issue with them. Aside from that, I freaking love these bags. They are sweet. They feel great. They look really cool. Uh, they're broken in so nicely. Uh, big shout out to my buddy, Nate. He sent me these bags so I could review them because I didn't have them. He wanted to see my take on them. So thanks bud. Um, Let's get into price. Uh, they are $69 on Buffalo's website. Not too bad, really. $69. bucks. i am not sure if that includes shipping or if you pay extra. You probably pay extra, but you're still in it for less than $80 bucks shipped. That's not too bad at all. Uh, Break-in method. I believe Nate did some warm water and then conditioner. He does a double rinse after that. He does not wash like I do with Dawn. Uh, I think he probably should, but these don't play too quick, so not a huge deal. Uh, the speeds on these. We have a 5 on the slow side with the carpet. Eight on the fast side. And I'll say right now, I think that slow side is more of a four. Even when it's dry out, when they're when they're playing, you know, on faster boards, I think that slow side is more of a four. I mean, it grabs. And it's it's a nice grab, though. It doesn't kick. doesn't do anything crazy. So, three Fs. Fill, feel, and flop. The fill is nice. It's like kind of that disc fill that I've talked about before, that asymmetrical, smaller disc fill. They feel awesome. Quality on these things is top-notch. They really are sweet bags. Neither side feels funny. You know, the carpet's really run nice and soft, which I really, really like. I don't like a rough kind of burlap feeling carpet. Fast side, kind of like a 357. Not quite, but similar. Uh, maybe a little thicker and a little less slick feeling on the hand. Uh, and then the flop, crazy that a carpet bag can get this floppy. It's just impressive to me. And it, it's pushing the limits of where I like a flop to be, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, playability. We have blocks, pushes, rolls, cuts, flops, airmails, even though I can't hit them. You know, it's you got basically everything with this bag. This bag can do a lot of stuff, and it can do a lot of stuff well. It's not going to slither between bags, but it probably won't have an issue going around bags and falling in. So this bag's awesome. Let's uh, let's throw a little bit. I'm going to try to knock out a couple of videos tonight if I can. It's already like 7.30 or something. Yep. But we have light, and uh, I have no wind, basically. And... Kids are inside with wifey. Week gets really busy starting tomorrow. We're getting our floors refinished. So basically moving our entire house out behind the camera there. It's one of them big ass pods. So anyway, enough about that. Let's give them some tosses starting on the slow side as per usual. Oh my gosh. It, you know, if I could just edit that out and be like, that never happened. That'd be cool because I was like, man, I've, I've actually thrown these really well. Just warming up. Let's just front board. And that, that wasn't even a front board. I bounced. I bounced to the front of the board, but saw how that bag hit, kind of stayed. I'm missing my throws, but you know I'm, I'm throwing them a little lower because these bags definitely don't have to loft them. I lofted that one a little bit, got a little bounce out of it, nothing too crazy. You know, controllable bounce. I can handle that, and that could also be you know partially a little bit a little bit of moisture in the air, a little bit of moisture on the boards. I mean, a lot of moisture in the air, but. A little bit on the boards, not too much. I've wiped them off and kept them as dry as I can, but I could feel just a couple little baby drops hitting me, but shouldn't affect stuff too bad. All right, so just ignore that first throw because that was, that was obviously just an oops. That actually fell in. See, they're nice. For as fast as that, or as slow as that uh, slow side can be, it's pretty hole friendly. Couldn't four pack it though, of course. Just saw that my neighbor's light is on, so we all know what that means. I mean, a video is about to get interrupted. I'll tell her I'm on the phone. Flip over to fast side. Climbs up. It's not insanely fast, which I really like. You know, you guys know I don't like a super, super fast bag. I missed it. There they both go. Nope. 
give it a little much. I was trying to really work on my finish there. Missed, but that's why I got this towel back here so they don't land in wet grass. Don't get the bags all wet. Get dirt smudges on them and stuff. Nate would kill me. Stick with the fast. Uh, just wanted to baby it up there. That's better. Falls right in. They're sweet bags, guys. Oops. Obviously, not sponsored by Buffalo. Oh, man, missed again. Let's do another round of that. That's pretty poor. Not sponsored, uh, but I did not purchase these. Just borrowing them from Nate. Try to include that in every video that I make that I either purchase the bags or someone sent them to me or even if the company sent them to me. I like to include that. Transparency is pretty important. That was slow side. Still slow side. I'm going to go slow side again. Oh, this is just set up perfectly for a double airmail drag, isn't it? Oh, I almost hit it. Oh, I almost hit it. <laughs> That's one of those where you just want to hit it so bad, but I left it a little bit short, hit this bag, bounced over. You know, neither one of those fell. They're, that's why I say the slow side is probably not a five. I just, I don't see it being a five. I think it's more like a four. And that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. But I think it's more like a four. But it still goes in. Let's go to slick side. Oh, man. Throwing the slick side very poorly. But, I mean, it stayed on. It's not bad. Yeah. That's pretty hole friendly. Grabbed around, flipped around, fell right in. Airmail. Eh, short airmail. Missed it. That's okay. Got a couple of videos to shoot tonight, so I think I'm going to leave it right there. That's the Buffalo Bags. M1 Carpet Red. Oh, I can't even squat down. <laughs> Buffalo Bags M1 Carpet Red. Sweet bags. Really good job, uh, Buffalo. You guys killed this one. I, I also have the uh, Fallout in there that another buddy sent to me. Definitely going to try those out. I'm going to throw those a little bit, see how I like them. I think it's just a slicker, slick side, more like Viking versus Mercenary kind of deal. You know, it's more like the Mercenary, but they're pretty sweet feeling so far. But we'll see. i got to throw them a little bit more to really get a feel for them. But these Buffalo M1s, man, tell you what, I would throw them all the time if they are ACL approved. All the time. These are sweet bags. Really, really like them, and hopefully they can move forward into uh, getting stuff approved and getting stuff stamped. I'd be all over it. So definitely recommend getting some of these I, I really do there's not a whole lot of bags i say that where i'm like you have to get these bags they're so good if you like carpet if you like a little floppier carpet snag these they're awesome awesome bags so that's about it guys that's a short and sweet on the buffalo bags m1 carpet ride if you guys like this one please give me that thumbs up share it with your buddies subscribe i'll catch you on the next one thanks